Hello, good morning and welcome to another video. I am Jay, this is Devon. Welcome to Devon. Uh, I've just stopped, I want to retighten my straps. I'll show you what I've got in a second. If I've left myself enough room, that is. I don't, <laughs> I'm in a very small lay-by. I might have not left myself enough room. Um, got 30 miles of switchback roads now to a place, it's some farm. Uh, I couldn't find it. The planner managed to find it for me, so spot on for that. Uh, it's 30 minutes away, it's only 12 miles, but it's going to take a little bit longer than that because you can't exactly throw it around with the stuff I've got on the back. So, um, yes, Devon Farm. Apparently, it's a there's a width restriction on the road and um, unsuitable for HGVs on the approach road. So, should be fun, I'm guessing, probably. Now, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that um, the camera works all right because I did record a video last week and and there was no audio on it. So that was good. All seems all right. Just making sure none of these slits. It's all tight enough. I just thought I just want to stop before uh, whilst I can and uh, make sure everything's good. Not sure what we're doing after this. Uh, careful where we're standing because someone's took a third. Let's go. Picked up some new gloves, some uh, winter gloves. They probably they don't last all winter, but it's a lengthy old puff of war. Uh, put my phone on charge. And then we're good to go. In fact, I need to put you on charge. So I'll catch up with you when we get a bit closer to you. We're struggling a little bit. Oh, we're getting up there though. I ain't changing gear yet. Come on, car. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Come on. Lady, move your car. Just, just go. Can you not fit around that? I can't. Can you go down there? I'm going down there, yeah. Good luck. I know, yeah.
This run up bar. I mean, they are sacrificial, but for God's sake, mangle the trail a bit. So apparently, this is the, the that is the way in. So apparently, one of ours went in there yesterday. How did he get down there without destroying his truck? I just spoke to the planner. That's the way it needs to go. I mean, I won't. I see, I'm gonna have to find somewhere to turn around now, and it's saying there's nowhere to turn around for 10 miles. And then I need to go past it, because it's the wrong angle, and turn around again, which I don't know where. So, I don't know how the other driver got down it, unless. See, there was a car coming out when I was going down, so I was keeping to the left of it. But it would have been, if it could have gone on the wrong side of the road, maybe that wouldn't have ground out as much. And that's the only thing you can think of. Um, there's not, there's, see, there is, it's showing another route, but it's not suitable. It's not, I've, look, I've looked through it, that's, it's, it's, it's farm, it's roads for farms, like for fields. So, it's, I don't know if it's actual real road or just a mud road. I don't know what it is, but it's not. It's not Hello good. Hi there, I'm Dazza, and this is Lucy, my 2003 Foden Alpha. This is a restoration project that I'm doing on YouTube. I really appreciate all the vloggers sharing this video around. This is a hobby for me, a restoration project that. Um, that is in years of the making, it's something I've always wanted to do. And if you fancy watching a middle-aged man on YouTube make a complete prat of himself, then look no further. Please snip along to the channel, have a look at the videos, and feel free to subscribe, like the videos, and please make a comment as well. It all helps it on YouTube. I appreciate every single person that has subscribed so far. Over the next few months, we've got big plans for the truck, and we will be seeing you next year at lots of truck shows. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks very much. Right, I think I found another way. I've had to set the sat nav to ignore the restrictions. Um, I've looked on it, it looks all right on the, the map there. I've, I'm not going back and grounding out again there. I found another road that would take me to the road of one, but a different way. So I'm hoping I can sort that out. Um, I've just got to turn around now. Yeah, I've managed to locate a roundabout in a couple of miles. So hopefully it's big enough. Trying to stay away from the drop there. Thanks, Stace. You're all right, love. I won't squash you. Thank you.
come down here and pull into this way. Come come down here, pull over in here. No, go go that that's it. Thank you very much. Right, I do believe we're nearly at it, 500 yards. No turning beyond this point. No vehicles over 25 meters. Your destination. And of course, the rain is now here. destination. Well, I can see a digger. This is the pin. I'll just double check. Yay, give me the rain, I love the rain. Well, there ain't no one here. I can't see any other concrete stuff here. Well, Amanda's turned up and he pointed, he pointed forward, so let's have a look. Where do they need me? Yeah, Paul. Yeah, good thanks. It's probably best if you got the uh, back round and then come to an angle. Yeah. Side, and yesterday it was easy. Right. Yeah, no, no problem, mate. We'll do. Oh, okay. I'm sure I recognise him from Chuck Press there. No, mate. Are we sat there? Let's get the flock out of here, said the shepherd to the sheepdog. Right, don't know the reload is yet. Still waiting for that, so I'm just going to get onto a main road and find a lay-by. I think it's probably going to be Cardiff, so I'll put that in the destination. That is about three hours away. Right, 
which way is this taking us now? Because we need to go back. Not the way. At the end of the road. Not the way it's uh, right. going to try and take me. So I need to. Do that, then go back down to the roundabout. Can you tell what I'm picking up? Probably not. It's probably too dark. It's rebar. We're in Cardiff. It is 5:30 in the morning, and this is going to the other side of the country, as in the uh, east coast, somewhere that way. Uh, so it's wet. I want to get this loaded and get gone before the rain starts. Uh, obviously still the same flatbed trailer, put some bearers on there ready to receive the uh, steel. <laughs> 